The Oak Ridge Boys' four-part vocal harmonies and their chart-topping hit songs have earned them multiple Grammy, CMA, ACM awards. They've just had 50 years of performing concerts together, and it's earned them the reputation as exciting entertainers with hearts of gold. Let me also say this to you. You may hear that the James Brown, the late James Brown, was the hardest working guy in show business. Not true. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. The really, truly hardest working people in show business, Dwayne Allen, Joe Bonsall, William Lee Golden, and Richard Sturban, the Oak Ridge Boys. <laughs> when, when I talk about you guys, I just say, you are America's band. You, you represent, to me, the very best of this country. And I love the fact that you just are tireless out there. I follow you on Twitter. I love to see the fact that you can't wait to get on that bus and go somewhere. I'm just amazed you're still not tired of it. So well, William, how headed, do you keep doing this? Well, we're headed out tonight when we get off of here. <laughs> <laughs> we're headed to Branson for two days, then uh, up in Indiana, then uh, three days in uh, Ohio this weekend. So uh, working six days this week. So we're out there still hitting it. Richard, you know, one of the things I love about the Oaks, you're attracting a younger audience. It's not like that all your fans are my age. We certainly are. But I've got friends that are very young, believe it or not, and they love themselves, the Oak Ridge Boys. How have you been able to relate to people of every generation in this country? You know, I think we love the uh, creative process of creating new music, and we are now working with a great young producer here in Nashville, Dave Cobb. That name will probably ring a bell. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he has taken us down some roads musically that I think young people can identify with. You know, he's a master at sometimes taking old songs and making them sound new and making them sound like young people like to hear, you know. And so so I think we have to give him as much credit as anybody, you know, and we work very hard at it, you know. Well, it's nice of you to give him credit, but there's still only one Oak Ridge Boys band, and you guys That's are true. it. Yes. Joe Bonsall, you got a brand new album that I'm very excited about, some terrific songs on it called Front Porch Singing. I love the fact that one of the ways you can get it is in vinyl, and it's got some <laughs> wonderful photos of the band. But something about vinyl, and maybe I'm old school, but tell me about this project, Front Porch Singing. Well, you know, you mentioned the, um, the, the shutdown. And in March of 220, we were playing Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where we just played the other night, by the way, strangely enough, yeah. kind of a full circle. But we had heard the rumblings of the virus or the possibilities. We started hearing those words, social distance and all that stuff. But we had no idea that when we got home from Myrtle Beach that our bus was going to park and stay parked. Mm. for months and months and months. So we decided we, we need to get together and do something, man. This was August of 220. We'd been off the road now for five months. We have got to sing. We've got <laughs> to make some new music. We've got to get together and do something meaningful. And the young producer he was talking about, Dave Cobb, yep. his idea was front porch singing. Four Oak Ridge boys on the front porch singing old gospel, new gospel, old country, new country. Songs written by some of the finest writers of today illustrating a good feeling, which is the kind of stuff we need right now. And that, that was the whole impetus behind. I love the selection of songs. Some of them are songs I haven't heard in decades, and they're still fresh. They're still fantastic. You're going to be doing one of them for us here. Dwayne Allen, uh, you guys have a big project coming up at Christmas. You're going to be in residency at the uh, Gaylord Opryland Hotel for a almost, what, a month of Christmas shows. We start November 24th, and we sing all the way through Christmas night. Wow. And we get to come home and put our shoes under our own bed. It's kind of unique. We go home, and yeah. the people that come to see us stay in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get a taste of what you kinda, guys have to do. Kind of reverse. Uh, guys, I just want you to know, there's nobody that I have greater respect for than you, because you love what you do. You love your fans, and you give them 110% every time you walk on a stage. I think that's why you've lasted like you have, and people still love you, and Thank they you, can't sir. wait to line up and hear you. Yeah. Well, we We're feel so, the same way about you, Governor. We're well, so thank happy you. To you have love you. America. We're so happy to have you in Hendersonville. Thank you. I am honored to be part of the same community where the Oak Ridge Boys calls home. Hey, Keith, 
Tell us how we can get our hands on the Oaks music, because folks are going to want this. What a great Christmas gift this would make for somebody. The Oaks Christmas in Tennessee runs November 24th through Christmas Day in Nashville at the Gaylord Opryland Resort. Get your tickets at oakridgeboys.com. While you're there, be sure to get your copy of their new album, Front Porch Singing. Now, after the show, go to Huckabee.tv to watch a digital exclusive performance of Old Ways by the Oaks.